Justin James fought over the weekend and he bet his entire purse on himself and he lost the fight. And he came out and he said no regrets. Now, I got to tell you, on first glance, I like this guy. Anyone willing to bet on themselves, I like this guy. That's interesting. No regrets, pushing forward, not doing it for the money. Or maybe he was trying to make extra money. Maybe he got greedy and I got it all wrong. There's something about it that I like. I can't help but smell a rat here. I don't buy it. I don't think he did. The way MMA works, you got to pay your, your manager and you got to pay your trainer a percentage. I don't know if too many fighters out there fighting on that spot on the card that got extra jing in their pocket that they could go to the window in the first place and put it down. Oh, I'm going to make 10 grand on this fight. Well, here's an extra 10 grand. Here you go. I don't buy the story. I think it was a good story. I think it was well told. I think it was well placed. I think it was meaningful for a headline. And from one hustler to another, I'm giving him his due. I'm getting the name out there. It does remind me of a time, I must tell you, Tito. The great Tito Ortiz had bet on a fight. I believe it was a Chris Cyborg fight. Whatever fight it was, he bet $75,000 had two to one odds against him, won the ticket, and he held the ticket up. And he took a picture of said ticket. And it had the 75,000. And it had the name of the fight. And it had the sports book. And it had what the winnings was. The picture had every single thing in it except Tito. He was nowhere in the picture. It was just a picture of the ticket. Now, if you were arrogant enough to have 75 grand that you walked up and took to the window, if you were to then leave that window with 225 grand in $100 bills, like if, if you were arrogant slash dumb enough to do this and then smash this in the world's face, you'd include yourself in the photo. I, I mean, not for nothing. Not for nothing. We all know that Tito didn't make the bet. What I'm sharing with you is it just seems like there's a couple of pieces that are very conveniently missing from the story. I like the guy. I like the effort. I like the fight. I like the storyline. I like the whole bit. Do I believe it? No. Uh-uh. 